Alright guys, so today I'm going to be talking about The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan. This is the second book in the Wheel of Time series, and I think I loved it so much more. It was so much better than the first one. I I liked it, like, just, I was new, used, to, used to the magic system, and there were just so many more things. The Horn of Valir was an ever-presence in the story, and because it came up at the end of the last book, and I thought it was a great addition, you know, just great addition to more, because this is going to be a 14 book series. So the conflict's not going to be resolved easily. And this fantasy series is different from a series kind of like Stormlight Archive, in a way that it's like not like a stay in one place fantasy, like, stay, it's sort of like Archive of it always takes place in Roshar, they're always fighting the Civil War, and it's gonna be like that all the time, but the Great Hunt was always moving forward, and I really enjoyed it. The Great Hunt, it's shorter than the first book, and, but it was good, like, but one thing I do have, I think, is all the characters kind of feel mushed. If, uh, for me, the characters I know, when they're, when their name's on page, I'm gonna be like, that's that guy. It's Rand Althor, Parent, Matt, Maureen, Tom Merlin, because Tom Merlin's awesome. Nynaeve, and who else? Eugene. And those are like the characters, those are my head, those are the characters for the book. And then some of the characters... They're kind of just like mushed together for me, which is not that bad because basically you're just one character unless you're being newly introduced to the story. It was a good book. I really liked it. Like there was so much like the friendship between Matt, Perrin, and Rand. That's really nice because like they, because he, at the start of this book, spoiler alert, he finds out he is the dragon reborn. And that's not, nothing that's not, that's pretty big, because you're going to go crazy, because men who can channel magic will go crazy, and that's cool, this magic system. And then you can see Rand, he doesn't, he kind of wants to get away, and the, there's just so much, like, ties. It's very, very good, and you can just see all of the things going down really clearly. Tom Merlin comes back. I love Tom Merlin. I was not really happy when he kind of died by a merge draw in the first book. You know, because Tom Merlin is, is my favorite character other than Rand Althor. That's the coolest name in the world. And then, I'm not sure what Perrin and Matt's last names are. But yeah, Matt is still connected to this dagger. And it's, you can see this addictive nature and then he needs the horn as well. And then the Great Hunt is just them handing hunting down men who, men who can channel because, again, men who can channel magic will go crazy. And that's another great part about this magic system. And the Aes Sedai are the, like, their kind of home is the White Tower. And this is just such a interesting se series. Like, I really love how it works. As for this, I still have the ebook covers. I really, really like them. They're big enough. They're really sturdy, they have a really nice cover on them. I like the cover so much more. I'm probably gonna have a rant video pretty soon in the Wheel of Time original covers. I don't see any, any redeeming qualities in them, other than maybe that last one, but I really like these ebook covers and I'll probably keep collecting them in these series. But even though I got a lot out of this book, I'm really enjoying it. I'm probably still going to go to audiobook and physical book in the future just to get as much out of it as possible because a lot of it is just really complicated and um, that's obvious like it's the wheel of time and I get a lot from it but I want to get as much as I can so I might pretty soon switch to um, reading probably for the dragon reborn switch to reading audiobook and physical, just to be as both, as, so I can get as much from it as possible. And I plan to reread the series when I'm in high school. Again.
because I just want to get, I want to read it again and again, because I think I can get a lot more out of it. As for The Dragon Reborn, it's a shorter book, so I think I might pick it up in February so I can just start The Shadow Rising, the big one, for my March read. But that's still kind of, I don't know about that. But I definitely plan to continue on the series. I mean, it's still, it was up in the air after the first book because it was a good first book, but there's, it's a series. It's not just based on the first book. And I, I believe there's, there could be the best series in the world. And then it doesn't change that the second book could be terrible. And I think I have faith in this series now. And I like this one better. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And I recommend you read The Wheel of Time. But, I think it's pretty advanced, and I'm probably not going to go into Mal's Inn for a while, And but I do enjoy these, this book, and where it took me as a reader. And so I might do um, Dragon Reborn, but right now I'm currently reading this chunker, Rhythm of War, so I might be not some book reviews, not an absence of book reviews for a while, because it's huge. So, yeah, that's just my conclusion to my review for The Wheel of Times, The Great Hunt, and I'll see you in the next video.